Whoa. Whoa, look at that. What is it? Whoa! Holy moly! Well, we we've got a big, uh, basically a partially collapsed wall here, with where the pit had been higher up, shallower, and the whole, basically the whole side collapsed, and uh, the, we're left with this altered wall of what was the, the volcanic conduit, and uh, the pit itself is putting out uh, material, but it does it's not putting out any any kind of rate like we saw it before. Wow. Well, probably CO2, yeah. Yeah, the, all that yellow is from, from little droplets of sulfur in the plume. Wow. That is amazing. And uh, the plume's coming out of the middle, and there's gas coming out from the fringes. Oh, wow. Now we're settling down to one of these places where all the gas is coming out. Look at that. So there's a lot more of this billowing white smoke coming out all of a sudden. really uh, changes from moment to moment here. If it's coming up underneath it and just flowing around that, or is... Yeah. Oh, look, look, look! Okay, so we're just coming up the final few meters of the uh, slope up to the pit. So we see a billowing cloud uh, and it seems to have a bit of a rim to it now. Okay, so we were sitting by the... Uh, when we first got down there it was uh, erupting very actively and then after a while, it kind of just shut off, and uh, we went up to the crater rim to sample the the rim material with the scoop bags, and uh, it was quiet for a good hour, I would say. And then suddenly, as we were trying to get the suction sampler working, it just started with a bang, and in fact, it totally overflowed the crater and the big cloud uh, came right for the vehicle and fortunately we were looking and we took off to get out of the way. We're just on the edge of the eruption plume here. That was really impressive. Wow.